Providing appropriate postoperative pain control is important for a successful recovery after surgery. My name is Dr. Caleb Hudson. I've been a surgeon at Gulf Coast Veterinary Specialists in Houston, Texas since 2013. And today I will demonstrate the effective administration of Nasita after cranial cruciate ligament surgery or CCL surgery in one of my canine patients. Nasita is the only long acting local anesthetic approved to provide up to 72 hours of analgesia after cranial cruciate ligament surgery in dogs. Nasita should be administered at a dose of 5.3 milligrams per kilogram or 0.4 milliliters of Nasita per kilogram of body weight. To begin preparation, the vial should be visually inspected. Do not use the product if there is any evidence of freezing or discoloration. Immediately before withdrawing Nasita from the vial, Invert the vial several times to resuspend the liposomes, but do not shake the vial. To open the vial, place your thumb against the notch on the cap and flip the cap up. Avoid removing the metal ring from the vial. Draw the appropriate dose up with a larger bore needle to minimize liposome disruption. It can be helpful to use a lure lock syringe and to start with some air in the syringe to replace some of the product volume being removed. Avoid injecting air into the vial until after you have withdrawn some product or you may risk breaking the vial. In this example, we're using an 18 gauge needle to withdraw Nasita from the vial. The product can be administered as is or the dose can be volume expanded with sterile saline or lactated ringer solution, also known as LRS, up to a ratio of one to one based on the expected volume required to infiltrate the surgical site. I prefer to expand the volume to cover the surgical site in most patients. Determining the volume needed depends on the size of the patient and the surgery site and comes with experience. For the administration of Nocita, use a 22 or 25 gauge needle depending on the size of your patient. Do not use a needle gauge smaller than 25. Consider separating the patient's volume expanded dose into different syringes. Having separate syringes for each tissue layer can help ensure accurate delivery to each layer. Because liposomes do not freely diffuse within the tissues, Nasita needs to be infiltrated into all the tissue layers affected by surgery. This includes the tissues next to the periosteum, joint capsule, muscles, subcutaneous tissue, and just beneath the dermis. Note that Nocita is not for intraarticular injection. Administration technique is key to good outcomes and varies depending on the surgery being performed. The surgical procedure, whether TPLO, TTA, or extracapsular repair, will affect the tissue layers impacted by surgery and thus change where you need to administer Nocita. Infiltrate and close each layer sequentially. This helps improve visualization of tissue layers and minimizes drug pooling in gravity-dependent regions. Tissue infiltration begins at the end of surgery during closure. The joint and proximal tibia have been approached from a medial aspect and we're ready to close the tissue. First, the joint capsule should be closed carefully. The key is to inject an appropriate amount in every tissue layer affected by surgery. To infiltrate the tissues properly, we'll be using a moving needle infiltration technique. Inject Nasita into the deep tissue layers around the joint capsule and the surrounding muscle and fascia. Be sure to infiltrate caudal too and lateral to the tibia. Then the deep fascia is closed. If arthroscopy was used, infiltrate around the scope and egress portals. Next, using the moving needle infiltration technique, inject Nocita into the subcutaneous tissues surrounding the incision. Be sure to cover both sides of the incision, as well as the proximal and distal ends. Finally, if any Nocita is left over, the remainder of the dose may be injected around the plate. And now the incision can be closed. 